गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट्स कम टू द अनदर क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज टेन पॉइंट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इज विदाउट यूजिंग द डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला शो दैट द पॉइंट माइनस टू माइनस वन फोर जीरो थ्री थ्री एंड माइनस थ्री टू आर दर्टिस ऑफ ए पैरलोग्राम सो फर्स्ट वी ड्रॉ वन पैरलोग्राम A, B, C, and D. The vertex coordinates of A minus two minus one. Coordinates of B four zero. Coordinates of C three three. Coordinates of D four minus two. Coordinates of D is minus three two. So if parabola is given whose vertex are minus two minus one four zero three three and minus three two, we have to show that they are the vertices of a parabola. Since we know that in a parabola the opposite lines are parallel to each other, and in in case of a parallel lines the slopes are their gradients are equal. So first we are going to calculate the slope of AB. Slope of AB that is m one equals to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So AB, x1 by 1, x2 by 1. So 0 minus minus of 1, y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, 4 minus minus of 2. That is 1 upon 6. Slope of CD. That we take it as m2 y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So 3 minus minus of 3. That is 3 minus minus of 3 upon 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2. That is equals to 3 minus 6 upon 1. Now the slope of CD here we have done side mistake. So three minus two upon three minus minus of three that becomes one by six. Since M one is equals to M two, therefore we can say that the AB line is parallel to CD. Now I am going to calculate the slope of a line BC. Let us take that M3 is equal to again the same formula y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. 0 minus 3 divided by 4 minus 3. Minus 3 by 1 that is minus 3. And slope of line AB, we can take it as m4 y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So y2 minus y1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 plus 3. It will become minus 2 plus 3. That is minus three upon one, which is equals to minus three. So since here we are getting the graded M three is equals to M four, which implies that BC is parallel to AD. Since the opposite sides, opposite sides are parallel, therefore ABCD is a vertices. Therefore. The given points, therefore, the given points are vertices of a parallelogram. Once again, you can see the four points are given: A minus two minus one, B four zero, C three three, D minus three two. We have to show that these are the vertices of a parallelogram. And here, parallelogram. We know that the opposite sides are parallel 
and the parallel lines condition is that their slope or the gradients must be equal. So slope of AB we have calculated 1 by 6, slope of CD we have calculated by the formula 1 by 6, both the slopes are equal, therefore AB is parallel to CD. In the same way we calculate the slope of BC and slope of AD, both of the slopes are equal. Therefore, BC is also parallel to AD when the opposite sides are parallel means it is a parallelogram. Therefore, the given points are the vertices of a parallelogram. Now, let's move to the question number 10. Find the angle between the x-axis and the line joining the points. Question number 10. The line joining the points. The line joining the points. 3 minus 1 and 4 minus 2. You have to find out the angle between the x-axis and the line joining the points. So slope of a line AB we will calculate it. Slope of a line AB that is given by M equals to Y2 minus Y1 upon X2 minus X1. So Y2 minus Y1 minus 2 minus minus of 1 upon 4 minus 3 minus 2 plus 1 upon 4 minus 3 that is minus 1 upon 1 which is equal to minus 1. Since we know that the angle with the x-axis for in case of a slope it is given by tan theta. So m equals to tan theta that is equal to minus 1 and tan theta in case of minus 1 it is 135 degree. Tan 135 degree is minus 1. Therefore the angle between the line and the x-axis is 135 degree. Question number 12. A line passes through the point x1, y1 since a line passes through a point a x1 y1 and b h k and the slope of the line is m slope of a line given is m show that k minus y1 equals to m into h x minus h minus x1 so slope of a line a b slope of a line AB is calculated by Y2 minus Y1 upon X2 minus X1. So Y2 minus Y1, K minus Y1 upon X2 minus X1, H minus X. But the slope of a line is given as M and the slope of the line AB is calculated from the formula that is K minus Y1 upon H minus X1. So, from equation 1 and 2, from equation 1 and equation 2, m is equal to k minus y1 upon h minus x1. So, just we cross multiply, k minus y1 equals to m into h minus x1 and that is our proof. Now let's come to the question number 12. 12 we have finished yet. Question number 13. 11th question will be homework for you. If the three points 13, the given three points, the given three points A, H, G, O, B, A, B and C, H K 
जीरो के लाई ऑन ए लाई लाई ऑन ए लाई देन शो दैट ए बाई एक्स प्लस बी बाई के इक्वल्स टू वन द गिवन थ्री पॉइंट्स ए एच जीरो बी ए बी सी जीरो के लाई ऑन ए लाई व्हेन द पॉइंट्स आर लाई ऑन ए लाई मींस दैट दे आर द कोलिनियर पॉइंट्स देयरफॉर पॉइंट्स A H zero, B A B, and C zero K are collinear points. Are collinear points, and when they are collinear point, means that the slope of the line A B will be equal to the slope of the line B C. We can take any common vertex. We can take a vertex B as common, and we can. Equate slope of AD will be equal to slope of BC. That is the condition for the collinearity of the points. So therefore, slope of a line AB will be equal to slope of a line BC. That is B minus zero upon A minus H. Y two minus Y one upon X two minus X one for B C Y two minus Y one K minus B upon zero minus A Y two minus Y one upon X two minus X one since the slope is given by the formula Y two minus Y one upon X two minus X one now what we do we just cross multiply B minus zero into zero minus A K minus B into A minus H. That is B into minus of A. A K minus K H minus A B and plus B H. So minus A B equals to A K minus K H minus A B plus B H. So minus a b and minus a b cancel out. So h k is equal to a k plus b h. We divide each term with h k now. h k divided by h k, a k divided by h k, p h divided by h k. So h h k k here h k. So one equals to a by h plus b by k, which implies that we can say that now a by h plus b by k is equals to one. Okay. The given three points a h zero, b a b, and c zero k lie on a line. Therefore, the points. When the all the points are lying on a line, it means that they are the collinear points. When the points three points are collinear, it means that we can take any point as the common point, and BA slope of the line BA will be equal to slope of the line BC. So slope of line AB equal to slope of line BC. Y two minus Y one upon X two minus X one. After that, cross multiply, simplification, and after getting this equation, H K is equal to A K plus B H. We divide all the terms of L H S and R H S with H K. We get A by H plus B by K equals to one. Now let's we start with the exercise ten point two. The first question: Write the equation for the x-axis and y-axis. So the first one already we are studying this question from the class ninth onwards. The equation of x-axis is given by y equal to zero, and the equation of equation of y-axis. Is given by x equals to zero. Question number two. Find the equation of a line passing through the point. Equation of a line. Equation of a line passing 
to a point minus four three, passing through a passing through a point x one y one minus four three and slope of that line m is given equals to one by two. Now the equation of a line which is passing through a given point and its slope is given is given by y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1. So that's why I told please go through all the concepts and the formulas. What will the equation of a line passing through a point and whose gradient is given? That will be y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1. In this now I am going to substitute the value of y1, x1 and the slope m. So y minus y1, y minus 3, slope 1 by 2, x minus x1. It will become plus 4 as x coordinate is minus 4. So cross multiply 2 into y minus 3 is equals to x plus 4. 2y minus 6 is equals to x plus 4. And x minus 2y x minus 2y is equals to minus 10 that becomes x minus 2y plus 10 equals to 0. 2y minus 6 equal to x plus 4 just transpose 2y towards right x minus 2y and here it becomes minus 10 transpose it x minus 2y plus 10 equals to 0. That is our equation. Next third question. The equation of a line passing through the 0, 0. Equation of a line. The equation of a line passing through passing through the point 0, 0 that is origin with slope m. With slope m. That is what is the equation of a line which passes through the origin and whose slope is m that is y equal to mx already studied from class 9 so y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1 y minus y1 0 m is slope x minus 0 so y equals to mx that is the equation of a line which passes through origin and whose Gradient or slope is m is given by y equals to mx. Studied already in the class 10th and 9th also. Question number 4. Find the equation of a line passing through the point 2, 2, 3 and inclined with the x axis at an angle of 75 degree. Question number 4. The equation of a line passing through a point passing through x1, y1, 2, 2 root 3 and angle is given theta 75 degree. So as the angle is given in case of angle, our slope of the line is given by m is equals to tan theta that is tan 75 degree and tan 75 degree can be calculated as trigonometric tan a plus b tan 45 plus tan 30 so tan a plus b is equals to tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a tan b that is our formula tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a tan b tan 45 1 tan 30 1 by root 3 1 minus 1 into 1 by root 3 we get root 3 plus 1 upon root 3 minus 1 next step we can rationalize it <coughs> that is root 3 plus 1 and root 3 plus 1 we get root 3 into root 3 3 plus 1 plus 2 root 3 on multiplication root 3 plus 1 root 3 plus 1 and a square minus b square 3 minus 1 which will get 4 plus 2 root 3 upon 2 take 2 common 2 plus
plus root 3 upon 2. So our gradient of the line is 2 plus root 3. Now the equation of a line. Equation of a line which passes through a point x1, y1 and whose gradient is given is again given by y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1. So y minus y1 2 root 3 m 2 plus root 3 into x minus x1 x minus 2. After this y minus 2 root 3 is equals to 2 plus root 3 into x minus 2 into 2 plus root 3 which can be written as now the final answer you can write it as 2 plus root 3 into 2 plus root 3 into x minus y equals to 2 into 2 plus root 3 minus 2 root 3. So 2 plus root 3 into x minus y equals to 4 plus 2 root 3 minus 2 root 3. This cancel out. 2 plus root 3 into x minus y equals to 4. Once again you can see here the angle is given 75 degree. So gradient can be calculated with that is tan theta, tan 75, tan 45 plus 30, tan A plus B, tan A plus tan B upon 1 minus tan A tan B and simplification and after rationalization we get the gradient value 2 plus root 3. So y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1, y minus y1 2 root 3, m 2 plus root 3 into x minus x1, x1 is 2. So y minus 2 root 3 equals to 2 plus root 3 into x minus 2 into 2 plus root 3. Now just by simple transposing 2 plus root 3 into x minus y and transpose this towards the left. 2 into 2 plus root 3 minus 2 root 3 to root 2 4 plus 2 root 3 minus 2 root 3. This both will be cancelled out. Opposite sign with the same numbers. So 2 plus root 3 to x minus y is equal to 4. That is the equation of a line. And question number 5 and 6 will be homework for you. Question number 5 and question number 6 is homework of exercise 10.2 and rest of the questions from question number 7 I will discuss in my next video. Thank you.